Welcome back, guys. We've got a new segment for you, which we think you're going to find very useful, and that is our trial report, where we look over the trials in the previous week and certainly find some horses we think will be worth following into the near future. Uh, today's report is from Canterbury on Tuesday, and we found four horses we really think can head to the races and present very good value uh, when they hit the track. Uh, but first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below this video. Uh, you can win multis, which means cash. You get our tips every week. Uh, it's certainly free, and it's a great opportunity to win some extra cash. Uh, you can also find the link to our free tips in the video, uh, in the description below this video, I should say, and that will help you receive our tips, uh, black book horses to follow, and certainly trial reports as well, which means you'll never miss any of these tips. You'll have them emailed straight to you, so it's well worth a click also. All right, let's get into it. We've got extremely lucky, the first horse at Canterbury. He was in heat three, which finished the trial in 33.70, which is pretty slick time. He's a horse that's changed to the Waller camp. It was his first uh, first official trial, or second official trial, I should say, and he is a listed winner over a 1,000 metres at Morfittville and looks to have appreciated the the stable change and will be a horse that if he can replicate this turn of foot when he heads to the races, he's certainly going to be a hard horse to hold out. Uh, the second of the four horses we have is Curricles from the Cummings Yard. He was in heat four. He was a, he was a horse that ran second in the Rose Hill Guineas, so he's shown plenty of ability in the past. Uh, they ran home in 34.27 in that trial, and he certainly dominated there. He looked like a horse that's really come back well and, and could be a horse we can follow throughout the preparation. Uh, the third horse will be Alentia from the Waller Yard. He was in heat nine. Uh, they ran home in 34.27. Uh, it's a group three winner at, at 1,400. So perhaps it may be a horse looking for a little bit further as the, as the prep goes on. Uh, but will be a horse that we're going to keep an eye on and certainly follow. And we think that when, we, when she finds a race that's going to be to her liking, we, you know, it will be a horse that's going to be very hard to beat. The last horse we found is, is probably the most interesting one of the four, which is Ritty. Uh, they've they ran that trial, which was heat 11 in 33.59. Uh, this horse from the Waller start, the stable is having, will be having its first start off the two trials uh, and was just very impressive and dominated the trial here. And I'll be looking for McAvoy to stick. I think if, if McAvoy sticks come race day, that'll be a very good sign for this horse's chances. And we want, want to follow this horse. As we said, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and click the link and we will send you an email when these horses are due to run and we will give you our thoughts. Good luck, guys. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.